We've been brainwashed that SUVs or cars are rollover prone and we should expect it. They put it in the visor. You, you flip the visor down on your car, it says, be careful, this car may roll over. Well, that's not true. Cars do not have to roll over. And as a matter of fact, SUVs should not roll over on a freeway going 50, 60, 70 miles an hour if it is flat, dry pavement. An SUV should not roll over just by your steering inputs alone. One of the problems once you get into a rollover accident is you've got a roof that is supposed to be a roll cage and keep you safe, but instead it just collapses like it's made of aluminum foil. And roofs do not need to crush and roofs should not crush more than an inch or two. So when you get in a rollover accident, more likely than not your roof is going to crush as well. Both of those things are absolutely preventable and we've proven it here with our testing. If you or a loved one have been involved in a rollover accident, you may have a defect case against that manufacturer. If the roof crushed in that accident, even if it's not a rollover case, you may have a roof defect case. And oftentimes in these accidents, seatbelt buckles fail as well. So if you've been involved in a rollover or a loved one or family member has, you should contact an experienced attorney like Biznar Chase who specializes in that type of litigation.